T2 thyroid supplements are becoming more and more popular among thyroid patients and for good reason. Not only is T2 usable with all forms of thyroid medications, but it also provides unique benefits that you just can't get from medications like level thyroxine or Synthroid. And as a result, tens of thousands of thyroid patients are using it every single month. But if you're somebody who's just hearing about it for the first time, you're probably wondering, what is it and how does it work? So let me fill you in. The first thing that it does is it helps boost basal metabolic rate. Unlike other thyroid hormones like T4 and T3, T2 has a more specific set of benefits and actions. Instead of targeting most of the cells in your body, it targets just a handful. But because it is more specific and focused on those areas, it provides a greater benefit to those tissues compared to T4 and T3. And one of those targets is the mitochondria inside of your cells. By activating these, your cells become more efficient at producing ATP, which is energy. The more energy that you produce, the higher your metabolism will be. It's that simple. And yes, this is the same thing that other thyroid hormones like T3 do. However, T2 is just a little bit more efficient at doing it. This, by the way, coupled with some of the other benefits that we're gonna be talking about, is part of the reasons why patients, thyroid patients, love to use T2 for weight loss. The second benefit is that it promotes the browning of fat. Unlike white fat, which is primarily used by the body as a storage for energy and calories, brown fat is metabolically active and is used to generate heat. As a result, the more brown fat that you have on your body, the higher your metabolism will be. So any treatment that you take that helps your body convert white fat into brown fat will help boost your metabolism and help you lose weight. This is particularly valuable to thyroid patients who, as you probably know, have a very hard time losing weight. And when compared to other thyroid hormones, including T3, T2 seems to be more efficient at doing this. Number three is that T2 helps to increase cellular energy production and ATP. One of the most common symptoms that thyroid patients deal with is fatigue. But T2 may be a solution for this symptom for two reasons. The first is that, as I mentioned previously, it directly impacts your mitochondrial function, which helps your body more efficiently create energy in the form of ATP. The second is that it helps your body more effectively break down fat so that you can take that fat and use it as energy. So instead of your body maintaining that fat to use it for a rainy day someday in the future, T2 helps your body tap into that fat so you can use it right away and start burning it for fuel. This combination, of course, helps you fight fatigue and it helps you burn extra fat, which means it helps with weight loss. Plus, the more energy that you have and that you create, the easier it is for you to get up and go, to exercise, and to make healthy lifestyle choices, which of course will also help you lose weight. The fourth benefit is that T2 helps to support muscle mass and muscle tone. This is very important to thyroid patients and it's something that they often neglect. But you can support your muscle health by taking extra T2. In states of thyroid dysfunction, when your thyroid is low or underactive, your muscles will suffer because they do not have the energy they need to repair themselves and to maintain their function. But as you take T2, your muscles regain their efficiency which means you have more function and tone even at rest. The more energy that your body uses to maintain your muscles will result in more caloric burn at rest and it will also help to improve your thyroid. And as an added benefit, this effect means that you will also have an easier time exercising. Benefit number five is that it perfectly complements other thyroid therapies. And this is probably the single best benefit of taking T2 because it has a positive impact on T4 and T3 thyroid hormones. Starting from the top, your body breaks down T4 thyroid hormone into T3, and that T3 gets broken down into T2, and that T2 gets broken down into T1. The speed at which this occurs inside your body will vary based off of your genetics and your own individual circumstance. But because some thyroid hormones are more powerful than others, I'm talking about T3 here, you may be zooming through the process where you convert T3 into T2, when in reality, if that T3 stuck around, you would have better thyroid symptom management. And this is where T2 steps in. When you take T2, you not only stabilize the breakdown of T3 into T2, you also support T3 function at the cellular level. Research currently indicates that T2 does this by acting as a ligand on the thyroid nuclear receptor. When you add T2 to your regimen, you are more closely mimicking the natural and healthy thyroid hormone production 
of a healthy thyroid gland. And this is probably why thyroid patients who take T2 feel better than those who do not. By the way, one quick way to determine if T2 is something that you should consider taking is by asking yourself this question. Do I feel normal taking thyroid medication? If the answer is no, that means there's room for improvement and you are probably a candidate for taking T2. All that said, it's important to realize that while T2 is powerful and very effective, it is not a replacement for T4 or T3. Each of these thyroid hormones does something a little different. So it's best to consider T2 as a complementary therapy, not a replacement therapy. Number six is that T2 helps your body to regulate cholesterol. Research shows that it does this by helping your body to eliminate LDL particles. This of course is really important for many thyroid patients who struggle with high cholesterol because they are not being adequately treated with their level thyroxine, synthroid, or other thyroid medication. And because many thyroid patients want to avoid statin medications, T2 provides a way for you to naturally lower your cholesterol without the use of these. If you're thinking about using T2, here's what you need to know about dosing. Like any and all thyroid hormones, how much you take matters a lot. If you don't take enough T2, then you won't get any of the benefits that we have discussed so far. And of course, if you take too much, that may push you into a hyperthyroid state. The good news is that dosing T2 and taking it is actually very simple. Existing research and my own personal experience suggests that the best dose for thyroid patients is somewhere between 100 and 200 micrograms taken each day. This dose provides all of the benefits that we've just discussed. It minimizes the impact and likelihood that it causes problems like anxiety or jitteriness, and this dose will not impact your TSH. Based on my experience, this dosing regimen will work for about 80% of thyroid patients. The other 10% on both sides may need a higher dose or a lower dose. If you are someone who falls into that 20%, here are a few helpful tips. The first is to start low with your dose. Begin at a dose that is 100 micrograms per day and do not increase unless absolutely needed. There's no rush here, so take your time. If you are someone who tends to be more sensitive and that 100 microgram dose is too much for you, then what you can do is simply take it every other day instead of every day. This will effectively cut down your dose from 100 micrograms per day to 50 micrograms per day. Another option here is to switch from a capsule version to a cream version. The next step is to always monitor your symptoms. Whenever you are taking any thyroid hormone, including T2, pay attention to how you are feeling. If you are feeling jittery or anxious, or it's feeling like your heart is beating out of your chest, these are probably signs that you are taking too much for your body. The good news is if you drop your dose, they should completely go away. The presence of these symptoms does not mean that you can't take T2 or that you shouldn't, just that you need to tweak your dose. No matter how sensitive or resistant you are to the effects of T2, make sure that your dose never exceeds 300 micrograms per day. If you're using a capsule, that is three capsules per day. It's at this 300 microgram dose per day range that T2 might start to impact your TSH and other thyroid lab tests. As I mentioned previously, if you want to take T2, you have two options in terms of how you take it. The first is T2 capsules, and the second option is T2 cream. T2 cream is roughly two to 2.5 times more potent on a dose-to-dose -dose basis compared to the capsules. So you need a smaller dose if you're using the cream over the capsules. Both options can work and do work, however, so it's up to you to determine what works best for your body, and some trial and error may be needed to find this out. My personal recommendation is that almost every single thyroid patient should consider adding T2 to their regimen because I have seen just how positive it can be for these patients. By adding T2 to your regimen, what you are doing is you are more closely matching the natural thyroid hormone production of that healthy thyroid gland. And it makes sense to me that you would wanna mimic what happens in a healthy state. It also happens to be the case that those people who I know who take T2 have much better thyroid symptom control compared to those who do not. By the way, if you're primarily interested in using T2 for weight loss, make sure you check out this video next because in it, I talk about how to use it for that purpose.